Hi everyone, it's Laureate, and I am that gal. I am from Milton, Ontario, originally from Montreal, Quebec, and I'm on my paddle boat for my paddle boat talk, and I don't know how long I want to be out here. There's this very large black spider on the boat that I didn't notice until I started paddling. And so I, I have my shoe here just in case I need it. <laughs> He's being quiet. He's sitting back there. I love spiders, by the way. I have an amazing amount of respect for spiders. I guess it's kind of like that whole thing, though, that uh, I just don't want them on me. I don't want to get bit because they're really painful when they bite you. I've been there and done that. So I'm just going to watch out for him. Isn't that kind of like in business, right? You've got these things like you respect them, people you respect, and certain things you've got to do that you respect that have to be done but they scare you yeah that's a spider I think that's my new term is there a spider in your life either be it a person because if you think about it spiders are amazing I watch them and I have a video of one and I called her Charlotte of course typical and every night she fixes her web and I watch her as she takes it apart and then she puts it back together again um, it's just fantastic. Uh, every year I've got about two or three spiders because I'm by the water, so that's typical. And I just watch them, and they're great because, you know, they take away the mosquitoes and the flies and the things that we don't want around us. And it's just a nice uh, protection. And I don't kill them. If I find one in the house, I always take it and put it outside. I don't kill spiders. I have too much respect for them. Now, if this thing was on me, I don't know what I would do. I'd probably jump into the water or something. So I'm just watching. Um, don't jump in the water. I'm sure that he wouldn't hurt me as long as I don't hurt him. But anyway, that was my little paddle talk. I certainly don't think it's going to be out here too long. He's just sitting there kind of looking at me. I'm going, don't move. Just don't move. Uh, I guess I'm wearing my Canada cat cap today. As I said, for a week I would wear hats. And uh, I'm proud to be Canadian. There was an interesting time in my life where I told some of you that I was in Turkey when I was a child for four years. And I was super happy to come home. I mean, Turkey was a beautiful place to visit, but there was a lot there that I didn't want to stay there for actually at the time to stop that actually. I keep bringing that up every time I say it now. Uh, at the time, I was young, so I don't know, some of you out there would know my age group, would know about the fact that, you know, the U.S. and Russia, they were at, at war with each other, and then there was the Bosphorus Bridge, and sometimes in Turkey, the Russians would give, you know, these lovely little packages to Americans, and they thought that it was a present from somewhere in the U.S., and it would be a bomb, and all these things, and we had martial law, so... I just kept thinking I want to go back to Canada and I was super happy to get back and hello Bruce and hello Quadri and thank you for watching. So it was good to get back here. We didn't have those same regulations. I mean martial law to a child is pretty scary. I'm pretty sure it was pretty scary to adults too but I had a few nightmares through that time. So I'm very proud to be Canadian. It was nice though that you know, throughout wherever you want, went, if you had a Canadian flag on your backpack or anything, people liked you because, yeah, that's what they say about Canadians. We're nice. <laughs> and sometimes too nice. <laughs> but I'll take that over being mean. All right. I am that gal. I just want to announce again tomorrow night we have the Advanced Branding Collaborative. It is at 7 p.m. Eastern time. I will put another link here. I always announce that. And we have our podcast. We have a couple more coming up with um, That Gal with That Guy and with Sumit from uh, our Indo Canada sharing your thoughts. And all of that is I am on, uh, on IamThatGal.com. And we also have the post and the Zoom link for tomorrow night if you want to join the Advanced Branding Collaborative. We're talking about self confidence and self esteem and eight ways to boost it with Jenny Calls. And we also have our special spotlight, Renee. Chamberlain. So hope that we can see you there and I'm going to go in and make sure that the spider doesn't crawl on me before I get in and get off the boat. <laughs> All right guys, have a great evening. Take care. Bye.